guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be taking you guys through the day in the life of a freelance videographer and university student. Come along and we'll see what we do in a day. Let's go. So typically, I normally start off the day with a cup of coffee, so we're just gonna make some coffee just to start. Now, before anyone bashes me for the coffee that I'm making, in terms of the coffee grounds, these are the only ones I have, and I don't have a coffee grinder, so it's going to be a lot smaller than what you would normally put for a French press, and I also don't have a kettle, so I'm just heating up water just with a little pot there. So, woo. So, we have a pot, we have coffee. Almost done. things come naturally to some people. So keep them in the first place. I mean, that's the wrong place to be impatient. It wasn't just that I wasn't familiar with her version of it. It's just... Fantastic. I mean, how's it coming? At least we can So typically I start off the morning with a cup of coffee and then I do a little bit of exercise, something related to yoga to help out the mobility and flexibility. Since most of the time I'm sitting down all day, I have other things to help with that such as like a standing desk, but that's normally what I do first thing in the morning. So just wrapped up that session for today and I'll wrap up by finishing my cup of coffee. So typically after I finish doing a little bit of morning exercise, that's when I get a breakfast in.
Okay, so typically this is what I normally have for breakfast. It normally looks like some sort of carbs. Uh, for today, I have oatmeal with some honey and some blueberries and some bananas kind of just sprinkled in. And I normally have some form of protein. So for today, uh, I decided to make an omelet, but I wanted to make it Japanese style for this morning. That's mostly what I normally have for a typical breakfast during the weekday. Weekends would sort of vary just because I'm always out and about. I might be surfing or I might be traveling somewhere. So now that we finished breakfast and cleaned up a little bit, I normally just jump straight into work. Typically this would look like some work that I'm doing for freelance clients or this would be some schoolwork that I need to complete. Okay, so it is just past noon. I'm getting a little bit hungry, so we're just gonna have a little bit of lunch before we jump into some of the projects uh, that I have to work on for the rest of today. some leftover bun me and we'll just heat this up and then we'll just have this for lunch. So normally what I do when I'm having some meals by myself, I watch some YouTube or Netflix. So right now I'm just watching a little bit of Netflix, watching Nut Hunter x Hunter, and I'm just gonna watch that while I eat some of this. So sometimes after I eat, uh, I normally feel a little bit sleepy, so it's kind of hard to get straight to work. So I take a few minutes to just like pause, digest a little bit. Maybe I'll play like some Nintendo Switch or play my guitar. So that's just been a couple minutes. Uh, I should be getting back to work. So the next thing I normally do is I go ahead and start editing videos for my clients. So for anyone that does any video editing, you probably know how much of a struggle it is when it comes to exporting files, especially when they're super big. So right now I'm having some audio issues just with some of the software and it's just being super stressful. So yeah, this is also another typical thing that happens, but we'll get through it and we'll see if we can fix this. Okay, so another thing is that with freelancing, I do have a lot of free time on my hands in between things that I need to do. So while I do some editing, I normally try to get some stuff done like different errands while getting some laundry done. Um, you might be hearing that in the background right now. And at the same time, sometimes I feel like I need to take a snack break because um, like I start feeling myself get uh, a bit lethargic, so I try to stand up, try to move around a lot. And um, yeah, just trying to uh, eat a little bit of this pastry that I bought the other day, just from the bakery down the road. It's all right, it's not too great, but it's definitely helping. So I'm just eating this and kind of just moving around uh, before I wrap up that for today. Mmm. Mmm. So I just moved back into my room after I hung out outside for a little bit and I am just going to wrap up the rest of today just with a bit more editing before I head over to a friend's place. I didn't mention this earlier, but I just got changed just so I could 
and it'll be a bit more comfortable at the end of the day. But I'm going to wrap up everything. Uh, and I'm going to use my standing desk over here as well, just to make sure that I don't fall asleep. So let's get right into it. So as you guys can see, it's getting kind of dark and this is the last thing that I really had to do, just exporting this video. I'm pretty much done, just waiting on that to finish and also gonna be heading out soon to meet up with my friend. But other than that, that's everything that I normally do in a day as a freelance videographer, as well as a university student. It's not a lot. If you guys wanna see more content like this or see some additional stuff, Definitely subscribe and leave a comment down below to let me know what sort of videos you want to see. Other than that, that's it for today and I'll sign off here. See you guys in the next video. Peace.